Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about component lifecycle hooks. Every component in Angular goes through a series of stages. Right from being initialized till it gets destroyed, there are a lot of hooks that it goes through or you can also say there are a lot of stages that it goes through. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. We will also do some practical hands-on of implementing those hooks. Let's get started. This is part 16 of the series. Before we get started, if you have any doubts, have any um, need any job support, technical help, training, please write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. I would be happy to help you. Following is the playlist I have on my channel so far on Angular 14. You see that I've covered everything from ground zero from scratch to advanced topics so far on Angular components. Make sure that you have gone through the previous episodes in order to have continuity in your learning. We learned about components in previous episodes, standalone component, component template, component styles, component class, very, very important uh, episode, I would say, uh, for beginners especially. And today we are learning about component lifecycle hooks. Every Angular component goes through a series of stages called lifecycle. Right from component initialization to everything that happens to component till it gets destroyed is covered as part of the lifecycle hooks. During the process of any project that you will work with, there will be times where you have to use certain state or be based on certain changes in the component. So rest assured you will be using these lifecycle hooks in some or the other manner in your projects okay so it's important that you get well versed with those interfaces and understand what they do let's take a look at all the available lifecycle hooks and then we start coding the first one is ng on changes so this is called before ng on init and we'll check if there is any data bound input field for where data has changed Okay, I'll cover this again when we reach forms, but for now understand that if you have, whenever you have an input field where data changes, this particular hook will be triggered. Then you have ng on init. That means it will be called once when the component is initialized, right? The first time only. Then you have ng do check. Now this will be called immediately after ng on changes on every change detection run. Okay. And immediately run after ng on init on the first run. Okay. This means you can force and tell Angular to rebuild the entire and detect the change, right? Sometimes during the course of your application at some point, Angular is not able to detect the changes or maybe refresh the data. That's where you can call ng do check and force angular to run the change detection again then you have ng after content in it which means called after ng do check and once the content is initialized it's called after every subsequent ng do check okay that is ng after content checked ng after view in it that means once your view is loaded what initialized what to do then ng after view checked will be called every time your view is loaded okay now you may ask what is the difference between view and content right so we have a concept called content projection that i'm go i'll be covering very soon but for now understand that there are two different things one is the view one is the content content talks about content projection view is nothing but your rendering of the html of the component and then finally we have ng on destroy okay which is called before angular destroys the directive or component so these are the uh, life cycle hooks that are there i'm going to show you practical application of these not only in this episode but as we move forward in the series for now for you to understand understand that these are the hooks and i'm going to show you how to use them let's get started with our hands-on all right so open any component okay if you open any component that we created say profile or oh, uh, pending task completed task right by default you would see that angular will write implements on in it okay so implements is what you have to write to extend to implement that particular interface okay so ng on in it if you see this is an interface on in it okay and 
that's why you have to write you are implementing that particular interface that's what implements mean okay so this is a class name then you have to write implements on in it whatever it is and then you have to write ng on in it and here let's write the inside completed tasks component okay this is inside the completed task component and if you see I think we wrote a this is a standalone component and I'm sure you know what is a standalone component if you are following my channel okay so we added a route for completed tasks let's start this application and check that whether it is printing or not so we need to see this message when will this be printed when this component is initialized Okay, that's why we are writing on in it. Now see, I'm going to go to the browser and say localhost. Okay, so if I go here, will I see that message? No. You see here, you're not seeing that message. What is the message? The name of the message is inside completed task component because I have not yet initialized that component. It's a standalone component in this case, and I have not initialized it. That's why I'm not seeing this message. But now, when I go to completed tasks, you would see that it has said inside completed task component because this component is now initialized here. Okay, I'm going to show you one more example from scratch now. Now, let's say I want to add one more lifecycle hook. Okay, and I am going to call it on so you have all this right uh, on content on changes you have right if there are any changes you can add that on let's say content after content in it let's do after content uh, in it okay so it will give you error okay it will say that it will give you an error because we have not implemented that particular method okay that's what I want to show you here that if you just add it here in implements and not actually write the definition of the method it will give you error so here we have to write this method ng after content in it okay now here I'm going to console and say message after content is initialized you see here message after content initialized that means this is loaded after the content is initialized okay I'm going to show one more and say after view in it once the view is it is initialized what should happen now see here it is giving again error and I, I don't have to tell you why it is giving error you are smart that's right because we did not implement it now I'm going to say here ng after view in it right after view is initialized so if you see the order first it says it is the component is initialized then the content is initialized then the view is initialized right I have not set any order this is the order that it will trigger okay now I am going to say after view is checked okay I have to implement that again after view is checked and now I'm going to say after view is checked okay now see after view is checked now I'm going I will be navigating away okay so now see what happens I'm going to say on destroy that means once I'm moving away from this particular component that means I'm destroying that from the my initial module load so destroying the component completed tasks okay alrighty so see it has printed everything inside completed task component message after content initialized ng after view in it and uh, ng after view is checked but it did not print 
the destroy when will it be destroyed when we try to navigate away from so you would have seen it the message came okay now let me show you again so it shows real quick and then goes away because it it is obviously redirecting so i am going to see if i can do a alert and i want to i want you to see that in action so that's why i'm trying this again completed task and now you try to go away it did not throw you the alert but what else we can do uh, okay for now all we can do is um, or let me do one thing let me put a set time out okay and put it for okay so at least in that way at least you can see the error message is what I want to show you these are important concepts that will be required when you're working in practical you know um, environment and that's why I want you to really see it working uh, so time out I've put a timeout so this should put a message first and then destroy okay let's see that But if you look carefully, so it's coming and going real quick. Um, maybe that's not the right way I'm showing, but you get the point that ng on destroy will be called whenever you destroy that particular element. Okay. So those are the life cycle hooks that we will be working with. If you're working with say um, input or something and you have some changes, you can always say ng on changes something should happen right so you can implement ng on changes and write simple changes for that we'll cover this again as part of the details so even if you don't understand some concepts it's okay at this point of time you don't have to learn and master write everything today understand what are the life cycle hooks these are the life cycle hooks go through what they do and then learn the basics of writing implements and then the interface implement the interface in the class okay that's all you should do as part of today's tutorial don't try to learn too many things in one go it will be more confusing but rather i want to keep it simple for you i hope uh, it's clear the basics and you will join me in the next episode where we start learning about angular directives we will come back to a component communication but after learning angular directives and then come back to uh, component communication these are all interrelated topics so some of the these may be a little tricky for beginners but I'm trying to make it as easy as I can but if you still have any doubts feel free to uh, buzz me or write to me in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for joining in this episode see you in the next episode